Hello, welcome everybody for another installment of Migrating to Coda from Notion with me, Maria, and with engineer John V, the brains behind the importer. So in our last video, we talked about importing from Notion into Coda and how that works. And now we're gonna take some time to look at, now that you're here, what are some of the things to be aware of and what are some of the things that are now possible for you? So John V, let's first start off with, now that we're here, what are some of the things that uh, we should be aware of that we need to maybe do some final polishing or sprucing up of our doc now that it's in Coda? So our importer will do most of the lift and the transition over to Coda, but there are some things that the Notion import export doesn't provide us with. Mm -hmm. And so table filters will be dropped upon import. But you can easily add them back just by going to options, filters, and adding them directly. Uh, similarly, Notion views like their calendar view or board view will be rendered initially just as a regular table view over here. But you can just go to the options to change how it looks and change the views. And that immediately in a snap of fingers gets you looking to what your Notion file may look like. Um, for formulas, we carry the result of the formula over to Coda, but not the actual formula because Coda and Notion have very different formula languages. Hmm. Um, so those are just some things to quickly uh, spruce up once you've finished your import. Yeah, so it sounds like just a couple of clicks and now it's gonna look exactly the same, just like we saw before. And then now we have the ability to use this much more straightforward formula language um, inside of Coda itself. Very cool. So now, what are some of the things that maybe um, if I've been used to working in Notion and now I'm in Coda, what are some of the things that are going to feel different that I should be mindful of? So in Coda, sharing is on a per doc level. So all these pages and sub pages are say, shared with the same people. Um, mm -hmm. If we decide that we want to share different parts of this doc with different teams, for example, maybe there is a team hub that we start in this engineering wiki, what we would want to do is to split them up into different docs. And you okay. can do that very easily using this copy to doc page where you can move it just directly into a different document. Um, another common confusion is you can bring in the power of a canvas into a table in Coda, just like you can in Notion. It's what we call canvas columns, but it's slightly different from Notion page and rows in that it is a column type. So all this long form data is associated as a column type. Got it. Excellent. And also that copy to doc is one of my new favorite features of like, oh, this needs to have its own life. And it's just a click away. Very cool. So then now that we're here in Coda, what are some of the things that are now possible for me um, in this new world? What might be something new that I can start to work with or add to what I had before in my old Notion life? So once you're in Coda, you can do so much for it. You can add packs to your documents so your doc is integrated with the key applications you use. You can set up automations to make the doc work for you. You can create forms, add reactions for everyone to weigh in. And luckily you won't be slowed down because with Coda's investment into performance, we now have 60% faster doc load, 60% faster image load, and five times faster filtering. But let me actually show you what I mean. Yes, so yes. I've imported this engineering wiki from Notion and I have this engineering directory, but I would love to see what PRs my team has worked on in the last week. So with the power of packs, um, specifically the GitHub pack, this becomes pretty simple. Let's add a PR subpage right over here, here, add a fun little icon just for fun's sake. <laughs> and let's go in and insert a pack, specifically um, the GitHub pack. We have many templates, so rather than reinventing the wheel, let's just pull in our team's pull requests. Before syncing the sync table, considering that it's a template, let's customize to what we actually want. So I'm gonna sync it up with my GitHub um, and the repo that our team lives in is Coda. So let's pull that up. Um, we wanna pull in the PRs that were created in the last seven days. So let's write a very simple formula getting a sneak peek into Coda's yeah. formula language. And before we sync, we don't need this table that comes with the template because in our engineering directory, we already have our whole team. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and delete that. And we will add a filter right over here so that we are filtering by the engineering directory GitHub usernames. Oh, so cool. we set it up and now let's sync and all that information from GitHub will load directly into your Coda doc. It just loaded in the information from GitHub. 
And we can see the open and closed PRs from this week in the last seven days. If you have a big team, this table might get slightly overwhelming, but we can harness the power of Coda's beautiful charts to visually synthesize this information. Let's create a copy or a view of our engineering directory because we want information about how many PRs each person created. The only column we care about here is the person and let's add a column for the number of PRs they wrote. So we're gonna add a formula now to filter the pull requests by this person. So this row, dot github username is equal to the author and we have filtered it but we want to know how many prs they actually wrote so let's write the count and so we have this formula over here but we want to visualize it so let's create a chart and make it look a little pretty in a hot sec oh yes (laughs) perfect okay and so with just a couple of steps we have basically got an overview of the number of PRs that people have worked on in a week, as well as what PRs they are. And that's directly in our engineering directory from the doc that we imported from Notion. Very cool. And if we wanted to have that number of PRs in another doc, we could just do that copy to doc and be able to have that wherever we need it. Voila. Excellent. Well, thank you so much, John, for walking us through. Those of you tuning in, have fun now that you're in the world of Coda. And if you ever need help, don't hesitate to reach out. There's an entire company ready and waiting to support you on this new journey. All right, we'll see you next time.